Justin Stone here from EliteBaseball.tv, and yesterday Bryce Harper hit a broken bat home run. And I wanted to analyze this, and going into it, I thought I was going to be doing a mechanics piece on how Harper, with his torque and ground force, was still able to miss hit a ball and hit it over 400 feet. But as I dug into this deeper, I saw that this is more of a physics issue than it is a mechanical one. And we'll explain that to you here as you watch Harper's massive feet. Now he breaks the bat on a home run off DeGrom, and the guy throws above average, exit vo or above average velocity. So you can see why the exit velocity of the hit would still be high on a seemingly mishit ball. Well, as I dug deeper into this, we're going to do a study on physics about what the sweet spot of the bat is on Harper's bat, and in reality, how little he differed from his hardest hits of the year on this broken bat home run. So one of the cool things we're able to do on our analyzing tool is scale. And so the ball or the swing on the right is Harper's hardest hit home run of the year, 109 miles an hour with exit view. The one on the left, 108 miles an hour on a home run. And in both cases, you would have to assume that in your hardest hit home runs of the year, the ball is probably on the sweet spot. Now this is an assumption, so I don't have Harper's actual bat to test what the sweet spot is. But even in these pictures, something that surprised me, most of the time people think the sweet spot of the bat will be right in the middle of the barrel. And in this case, what it seems on Harper's bat is it's much closer to the label. On his hardest hit balls in home runs of the year, you can see how the ball in the collision is further down towards the label than it is towards the end of the bat. Now, a you have to understand what the center of percussion of the sweet spot of the bat is. And at rest, if the bat was just sitting in the corner or in your car, it doesn't have the same properties as when you pick it up. And depending on where you put your hands, if you're choking up, if you're down on the knob, all of that will change where the center of percussion of the sweet spot is. The sweet spot is defined as the place on the bat where we see very little, if any, vibration when the ball is struck. We know when we hit a ball on the end of the bat or more towards the handle, we feel that immense vibration. And that vibration is also taking energy away from the ball that's being absorbed by the bat, which would explain why you don't hit the ball as far when you hit it further from the sweet spot. But in Harper's bat, you can see how it's more towards the label. So it would tell me by the way he holds it, it could be affected by even the way he turns it. This is why the, the sweet spot is seemingly more towards the label on him. Now, with our analyzing tools and scaling, knowing that he has a 34-inch bat, the one on the right at 109 miles an hour was just 13.08 inches from the end of the bat, from the end of the barrel. The one on the left, it was just 12.37 inches from the end of the bat on a 108-mile-an-hour hit. So here's the peculiar part from his home run as of yesterday. Now, I put it up here on the screen for you you'll see that this home run isn't that much further down towards the label than his hardest hits of the year. And this would explain why he still hit it 99.2 miles an hour and the ball went 406 feet because it was just 13.55 inches from the end of the bat. Just a little over an inch from the one you see on the left at 108 miles an hour. So using some physics studies done by renowned baseball physicists Robert Adair and Alan Nathan from the University of Illinois, we are also able to do a ratio which says if the ball was just 1.18 inches from the sweet spot further up the label, we would be losing approximately 8.6% in exit velocity. So what this means is we should be able to tell how far the ball would have been hit and the exit velocity had he hit it on the sweet spot. So you add that 8.6% back in. If you were to hit this further towards the sweet spot, the ball he hit yesterday that broke his bat for a home run would have been 107.7 miles an hour of exit velocity or have gone 436 feet. So what this tells us is there's probably something else at play here. Yeah, DeGrom throws really hard. There could have been a nick in Harper's bat he wasn't aware of, or maybe he was aware of it. But this is probably more of the reason why the, the bat was broken versus just mishitting the ball. Because we see he didn't mishit the ball by that much if it still went 406 feet. And just one inch further down towards the label off of the sweet spot, 
would have only changed the ball flight 30 feet. That's crazy. It's just a little less than 8 miles an hour of exit velocity. So a neat study there in the physics of what the center of percussion and the center of performance, which are very similar, but even the center of performance is going to be a little bit different from the actual sweet spot, the vibration portion of the bat. And we can see how Harper's home run, his feet yesterday, when you slow it down, you put a still photo on it, it really that wasn't that much different from what we see with some of his hardest hits or home runs of the year. So sometimes you can't always believe what your eyes first tell you till you dig a little deeper, get into the physics of it, and then a still photo like this will really tell the story. Until next time, this is Justin Stone from EliteBaseball.tv, and we'll see you on the field.